Hey everybody, here's some tips and tricks to work on our 16th to 8th notes exercise that's labeled as number two. Okay, so remember it starts right at mezzo forte, which is our medium loud, so not all the way up, not all the way down, but right um, happy in the middle. That's what MF, medium loud means. We're gonna alternate everything because our goal is to make everything sound the same. Versus try to make every single thing alternating, so we're trying to make all our hands sound the same versus playing everything on just our right hand. Look at measure three. Again, similar to our etude one that we did before with the eighth notes and chord note rest, this one is number two, which is working on the 16th. And it's working on dynamics and there's also a repeat. Remember those two little dots. Because those two little dots are at the start of that, you gotta find their friends. So if we have those two dots right here, and then look down, nope, not there, it's on the second line. Ah, there they are, right in the middle of the second line, you see our other two dots. So you play that, and as soon as you finish that um, second measure of the second line, you gotta pop back up here and then do the same thing again, like the little snake game. So the whole first line is at mezzo forte, super easy. Look at the last measure of the first line. There is two upbeats, so you have rest and rest and three and a four and rest and rest and three and a four and. Then you jump to the second line, and it's gonna trick you a little bit. When you jump to that second line, there's also a really quick dynamic change. And remember, piano for us means low and soft, but also to the edge. So you have to go straight from playing loud and high to playing low and soft. And I hope you guys see my lovely little cat who likes to hear when I'm playing, that's why he's in here. So rest and rest and three e and a four edge. One e and two e and three e and a four and one and two e and a three. And then there's a crescendo to medium loud. So don't get too big, it's right back to our medium height. And it's very quick over three beats, but you go from the edge to the middle and you gotta go from our low height to our medium height. Okay, then again, there's our two little dots. Repeat back up to the third measure of line one. Go play that through. Now you're gonna start, once you get to the repeat and you're done, now you're on the third measure of the second line. Now it's at forte or strong, loud. One e and a two and a three e and a four and a one and two e and. As soon as you finish that second line at forte, he throws another quick little change at you and he drops you back down to piano. So you gotta go back down to playing our low height and then push forward to the edge. So if I play the very last measure of the second line, one and two e and three and four. Shh, one e and. 2 E and 3 and a 4 and a 1. And it's again soft, low, and to the edge towards the front. For two measures, it's soft, then it jumps back up loud again. 1 E and 2 E and 3 and a 4 and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3, 4 and. <clears throat> then it's for two measures loud. Then you're in the, the last line, second measure. He drops you back down to piano again, and it's the same rhythm that he dropped you down to piano every single time. It drops down to that one E and two E and. Then look at the very last measure. There's a crescendo that gets soft, start soft at the edge and get loud. So you go from our low height to our high height and then you go from playing to the edge to playing in the middle. One E and a two E and a three and four. And that's it.